And then some switches for that. Oh! oh. <laughs> the mine. So we're not supposed to use that switch yet because we don't want to burn out the motor, but that's fine. Look, we know it works. Yeah. <laughs> Today is all about the electrics. I am beyond excited to have this video. I'm sure if you guys remember from the previous one where we built all of the furniture, obviously the reason why I'm not documenting it is I'm not the one putting it in because I can barely trust myself to build wooden furniture, let alone wire up an entire van. So let's talk you through what we've done, what's been done so far. We've got, I put in these cabinets at the end of yesterday's video, I didn't really address them too much. This piece of wiring here is connected to our 5G internet thing motorhome wi-fi 5g now compact pro very very important that we have the best where is it 5g internet possible for uploading working youtube the lot we are then going to run um a 12 volt socket as well as two usbs and a switch here for when our heads are here we can use and charge our phones that thing there is a pump is going to get installed there so we can have some water for our sink and it's kind of like powerful then the only other thing to address under here is we're going to have i think three different uh, lights which go in here which then are going to be dimmable on our junction board there so we can kind of have some house lights and these will be more of our mood lighting and kitchen lights and then the motherboard so we had to have this all very very custom done so we've got batteries kill switch for the inverter fuse box solar controllers so i'll link below the fridge that we've got but it's the just campers compressor fridge so it's really good works off of 12 volt electric and then we're going to put some usbs in here this will be like the main junction everything's kind of going on this side that's going to be all of the 12 volt the dimmer switch for the lights the pump switch so my job now is to make my life easier by making the bit of ply that goes there for all the switches hopefully maybe do the one here and then the one for over there alas we move all right let's go going to end the night here we've managed to cut and size that board there for all of our everything so that's going to be like our main jun junction box and i've done the bit at the very end there um ready as well so we have little two usbs in the top corner i've got this piece here with a little corner cut out which is going to go here and uh yeah so see you tomorrow the electrics are done Shall we have a look? Wow! <laughs> wow! I actually, to be fair, literally just to have these lights is unbelievable because it's like showing that the actual electrics are in. So John is going to give us a quick tour um, of everything and then we're going to go back to painting. <laughs> so, we have dual USB, 12 volt, volt charger and a switch for it. See? There's a light there somewhere. Blue light. Okay, that's off now. We've got some wires for our diesel heater, which will be getting installed later this month. I'm excited. We've got a Wi-Fi router in here. So that comes that from in here. Yeah. There it is. So the Wi-Fi comes down. It then is our little box here. And 
comes, oh it's so dark, it goes through the ceiling, through here, it has a little junction box there, and then the actual Wi-Fi router comes off as well. Uh, once I've painted this, we've got these LED lights, which we're going to stick underneath, also get some sort of diffuser thing. Da -da -da -da. Ta -da. So we have some under counter lighting, which will go, I mean they look super bright at the moment, we can change them, but we're going to think have like three strips, which come down there. Which obviously changes that and then these are variable colour ones so we really wanted to get RGB lights because we're we're young and we want to have the colours but the only thing with RGB lights is if you put them at white it kind of just shows the green the red the blue lights um, and it comes off like a little bit bluey so it wasn't really gonna be helpful so these are actual like kitchen LEDs so they do cold white neutral light and warm light so next up we've got our that <laughs> What is this? This is our pump yes. for the water. So this is going to be our main switch board area. Uh, we've got two 240 volt plugs, sockets. This is our touch controller. Where? For the light. <laughs> you could have break the lights. This was me yesterday. <laughs> Another set of two USBs, 12 volt thing, and then some switches for that. Da -da. Oh. <laughs> the mine. So we're not supposed to use that switch yet because we don't want to burn out the motor, but that's fine. Look, we know it works. Yeah. <laughs> and that's for the inverter. Inverter. So that is what will give the 240 volts power. And let me go round. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Oh shoot, sure, yeah. Yeah, so we've got a little reading light for when if when or if we put the bed back up. Yes. Yeah. So that's quite nice. I would turn it on, but it's warm light, so you know, that's fine. More plugs here, which I have already forgotten, but they are to my benefit. <laughs> anyway. So we've also got much. DC to DC, which means when we're driving, it puts energy in the batteries. When these are at 100 percent they actually pulse the electric back to the battery in the front which makes it kind of as like an infinite trickle charger. So the battery in the front never goes dead. And then when we drive, most likely we'll always put power back into there as well. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I can't see it. Oh, sorry. We oh, oh, shoot. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <You're getting good. laughs> oh, you got it. There you go. There you go. So then that then takes this thing. You can then plug that and then that also charges the batteries up as well. Okay, back to work. Hi! So what I have just done is there's about seven different boards here which have been all very carefully mapped out. Um, basically these are all like the edgings to all of the cupboards, the beds and stuff. Basically anything that doesn't include having like drawers on them. So obviously John's been very hard at work getting all of the current pieces. Um, so my next job is literally to get all of these in to the van so she can paint them up. Yes, let's get back to it. <laughs> so this is our gas locker so to still have to drill a vent for it so then get a little pipe in here that will then go off under the counter to the hob so the one thing about this is because you can't drill holes into it anywhere else you want it to stay secure i've then bought some bungee cables 
then basically underneath the fridge we've then got two poles and then we've already got a back support on it so what I'm going to do is these will then stretch round and then in two sections basically hold that in place obviously it may still rattle I've got some floor guard which are like these tiny kind of rubbery s kind of foam things yes. As if just like magic, da, 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 she's done. Um, well, not fully done. <laughs> it's just in between that last bit. I've cut and just kind of sealed off and John's painted the last few panels. And now we are done. Electrics are in, skeleton frame looks lovely. All the sideboards that basically aren't gonna be do, to do with drawers um, have all been done, painted and in. Gas lockers in, so much progress in this video. It's unbelievable. It's looking like an actual house now it's actually all coming together so next episode we're going to probably put the flooring in so we can then create the bed so it can slide out and we'll probably do all the drawer fronts bits and bobs we've got some really exciting stuff for these windows and the front we're going to put on the curtains um so yes we've got something really exciting to show you for next video so stay tuned and um yes i hope you guys have enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one <laughs> the electrics are done. Shall we? I am not doing really well. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs>